Say So TV. Uh, today I'm talking about the top five ways to make a gay relationship last or an LGBT relationship because I think trans and lesbians can also learn from this as well. Um, but first, just to say, I have been reading my comments. I appreciate y'all commenting. Please continue to do that. And I am going to try to stop cussing as much and smoking in my videos i've realized that like when i look at other videos about current about content similar to mine i am the hoodest of them all <laughs> but i would be real though i love it you know what i'm saying i love that i am not the like polished like version that everyone else is because i feel like more of y'all feel me i got more views than a lot of them people you know what i'm saying i don't care to monetize honestly y'all i'm really comfortable in my life but I would be a fool not to monetize if I do hit big, you know, so I'm going to try to stop doing so much uh, cussing and stuff in my videos. So if y'all notice that, just know that that's just what it is. If I get a little flabbergasted, that's the only reason why I do cuss because I have to be myself. Like I told myself before I start making these videos, like I got to be myself. I can't be worried about monetizing, worried about this and that. I got to just I got to be able to be myself to give it to y'all raw and authentic as I do. Um, so there will be some cussing in this video, but I'm just letting y'all know I'm going to start trying to not cuss as much. All right. So now the reason why I want to do the top five on how to make a relationship last is because I already did the why the relationships don't last in a previous video. And I did hit on points on how you can overcome those problems that we have, but I didn't really get in depth onto the things that I've noticed that I've learned that actually make a relationship last longer, if not indefinitely. So about to put y'all up on game. All right. So with number one, we need, or you need to, create a tie together i noticed within my new relationship compared to my previous ones the reason why it goes a little smoother is because all right i'm gonna back up i'm gonna, I'm gonna put it like this when i say that yes, y'all need to create a tie together i mean marriage a house start a business together or y'all need to adopt kids or some form of fashion in the route of a straight relationship this is the only thing that i will say that gay people need to adopt from gay from straight relationships i know that y'all may have a hard time understanding me but i'm about to put y'all on game okay i just realized that me being with the dude that i'm with now we're both bisexual but he had an ex-girlfriend that he was with they had a kid together we are both raising this kid together yes the mother is still in the life i do agree that a child should have a mother and a father or at least a, a female presence and a male presence. I wouldn't want to have any child around just one sex growing up. You know what I'm saying? So I love the whole setup. Everything's good. But what I've learned is when we get into arguments, he doesn't go as far as a lot of dudes go because he has a child and I'm in this child's life. Me being in this child's life, it makes my presence way more significant in his life. You know what I'm saying? What I mean is, y'all, he he humbles himself. He corrects what he says. He apologizes. He does things that I didn't know. I didn't see a lot of other guys doing when they would make mistakes or when they would be wrong or they approach something in an incorrect way. They'll try to justify it. They'll try to manipulate you. It's all this selfish shit. Basically, what I'm saying is. If y'all don't create a tie together, one of these things, marriage, house, a business, or kids, y'all will end. It may take four or five years. I think that if you do not, I'm a strong believer now that if you do, because I put my best foot forward in all the relationships that I've been in, well, the majority of them, I ain't perfect. And I've noticed, why is it that 
it's always that same energy of I don't need you and I don't like basically y'all what I'm saying is people I, what I've learned is people need to they have to meet each other in order to stay together y'all I'm sorry to break it to y'all but all this independent this hyper independence this I got my own car crib I don't got to listen to no nigga I ain't got to uh, deal with no nigga shit none of all that shit that is what's going to keep you single because that's the creating the no tolerance policy. The reason why straight people last so long in their relationships is because they have kids, they're married, they have a house together, they got ties that it don't matter. Like it's other things are smaller than these. You know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with a gay dude and they're y'all don't have no tie together, that's the reason why it ends so so abruptly and easily because there's no real reason for y'all to stay together all the gay relationships that i've noticed that actually last they have some one of these things if not all of these things so real real shit y'all i'm here to break it to y'all that y'all are gonna have to build with a with a man or y'all won't stay together there won't it will all it will always be so many open-ended reasons for y'all to break up if y'all don't do one of these things straight up you know i'll be hearing all this and i know a lot of gay men pride themselves on not needing nobody coming from poverty coming from situations with people using you or stepping on you manipulating you you feel like if you got your own security you'll be fine i'm not saying don't have security you gotta have security what i'm saying is create your security with this man so that y'all don't have to break up in order for you to feel secure all right because this is this is real y'all like i'll be seeing all this you know there's this dude that came out with this song that was like you're gonna be a want not a need a want not a need like don't get it twisted you will always be a want not a need well that's the reason why it was kid ken i think Shout out to him. That is the reason why niggas is going to be single. Because if you don't need to be with somebody, you will not be with somebody. Y'all, let's keep it a honey. If you didn't have to go to work every day, would you? But you love that shit, don't you? You love that you are able to go out here and pay for what you want, have what you want. You got your self-security, your independence. You love that, right? But if you didn't have to do that, you wouldn't be doing that. If you weren't made to do things in life, you wouldn't do any of this. All right. So I'm not saying that you need to be meeting a toxic person and all this other stuff that I'm not trying to tell y'all that y'all need to go get trapped in relationships that are not good for you. What I'm saying is you have to build. Gay people have not gotten conditioned to building with another man. They think that they can just get together, be boyfriends for I'm not trying to be nobody boyfriend. I don't want to have the title of boyfriend for three years. I've set a goal. If and me and my boyfriend agree, we're gonna be together a year. If we don't, if 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 we ain't getting married, he told me straight up, he said, We ain't, I'm not spending, I'm not wasting years with somebody as a boyfriend. And I agree. And this is another thing. You do gotta find somebody who is on the same page as you, or otherwise it won't matter. But I'm just letting y'all know y'all gotta create a tie to each other. Otherwise, y'all will eventually break up. Because nobody's perfect. Two dudes and two women are not really actually meant to be together in the form. Oh, I'm not going to say I take that back. I'm not going to say that, that they're not meant together. What I mean is we're not just set up to be compatible. You have to create the compatibility. All right. So this is how it's going to work. Y'all got to get a soul tie together. Y'all got to get a tie together outside of this love and this infatuation. That shit's not going to keep y'all together. So if y'all want to actually last with somebody, y'all are going to eventually have to get some of these things under y'all's notch. And that's marriage, house, a business, or kid. Period. Don't matter how you do it, but it's going to have to happen or y'all will not stay together. All right. Now, moving to number two. Y'all do need to have open vulnerability, vulnerable com communication and transparency. Y'all have to be transparent. If y'all are hiding secrets and keeping shit from each other or not communicating and saying, you know, whatever, how it works for y'all, I'm not trying to tell y'all exactly how to do it because there's a different formula for all for even these things. But 
I'm saying y'all got to be openly communicating with each other and be vulnerable, be willing to be vulnerable and be transparent. All right. Now, number three. Everyone needs to work on their emotional quality. All right. This is the de- this is the same thing as in of IQ, emotional equality. I mean, uh, intellectual equality. But that ain't going to help you in a relationship. Not that much. Everyone needs to work on their emotional quality, meaning being genuine, clear communication, direct communication, because nobody can read your mind. Empathy, caring for another, knowing how to comfort someone. You know what I'm saying? Without that in a relationship, it's just like people going to feel exhausted. That's where anxiety comes from, depression, all of that. You got to be able to see your dude's perspective, where he's coming from. You should want to. It needs to be mutual as well. All right. Now, number four. And this one's very important. Y'all need to help each other with personal goals and financially. What I mean by this is don't just be somebody's boyfriend, y'all. Y'all have to solidify a, you have to get yourself to a position where you are cheaper to keep. Like what I mean by that is you y'all have, have y'all ever heard that term? Why a lot of men won't divorce women or why people won't get divorced because they cheaper to keep. What I mean by that is without you being around, they got to pay more. If they leave you, they got to do this on their own. What I'm saying is you need to get become something in a uh, you need to become a factor in someone's life to where they without you, they're sh- disheveled in some way. If you ain't adding value to somebody's life to where if they not with you, it really won't make a big difference. Y'all not going to last. You need to become a stamp in this person's life. OK, so if. All y'all who be trying to do this, like, I'm going to live in my apartment, you live in yours, and we just come together and just be boyfriends for a year or two, and that's and don't never move in together, or don't never help each other financially, y'all going to not last, because there ain't won't be no big difference if they, y'all not together. Especially, and I also consider, like, honestly, I look at it like this, and I've always said this, if I'm financially independent, I'm single. Ain't no way in hell I'm with somebody and we not helping each other with nothing. I could be by my damn self. I can do bad by myself. Or I could do decent by myself or good by myself. I want to be great with an, with somebody though. So that's what I'm saying. Y'all got to realize, do you want to just be independent? Meaning have your own shit, own car, own crib? and job and be stable is that all you want out of life because if that's all you want well you've already made you've already succeeded that and what else is going to come nothing you're going to be by yourself just like that and if that's fine that's fine but i'm just saying that's not going to get y'all what y'all are asking for if y'all want a relationship because i know a lot of y'all want the relationship that's in that position nobody that shit gets lonely after about a year of solitude of isolation of being to yourself practicing self-reflection and you know, you doing all these new things for yourself after about a good year or so and some change, that shit becomes lonely. It don't matter how well you're doing it. Nobody is conditioned to be by themselves. If we was, there wouldn't be billions of us in this motherfucking world. All right. So you need to become a stamp, support him in his goals, you know, help him drive, help him Get to where he wants to be in life personally with his career. You know what I'm saying? If your dude, like for instance, my dude, he's he he do uh Twitter. I mean he do TikTok. He TikTok famous. You know what I'm saying? I do YouTube. He one day I came home, he had a whole YouTube, like he had my whole little section set up with my snacks, my blunt, my camera, my tripod, my my whole little background drop, all that one day. That was supporting me. That made him valuable to me. 
Cause ain't no other nigga did that. They don't even think to do no shit like that. Cause I don't care about. They really all about they self. I help him with his with his uh, TikTok. I'm his cameraman. You know what I'm saying? I'm also cheering him on. I'm giving him positivity. I'm making him feel confident and shit. Like this is all adding value and making a permanent stamp to somebody. Cause the hey, if you're not around, they don't have that. They gonna think about that. Split rent with somebody. Split a bill with somebody. Bring y'all's finances together. Because think about it. While you by yourself, you could be making fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year. And that's good for yourself. But that still ain't shit nowadays with as high as it is in all these places. But think about it. You link up with another nigga that make another fifty, sixty thousand, dollars $60,000, you all are automatically a six-figure couple. This is how y'all need to be thinking. I'm talking about building. This is how y'all gonna stay together. Otherwise, y'all not gonna... All this little play, play, boyfriend shit, this little bullshit, that's not gonna do nothing. Quit repeating the same shit. Just boyfriend to boyfriend ain't doing shit. Boyfriend to boyfriend ain't doing shit. So this is how you be a partner. This is the difference between being a partner and a boyfriend, y'all. Boyfriends are just a title. They're fun. It's about being someone's peace and only that. You might distract them. They might be giving good energy or whatever, but they're not an actual stamp in your life. They're not making no changes for you, for real. They just a, a, a attribute, like a prize or a trophy that just sits on the fucking desk. That don't do shit. All right. So pour positively into each other to where without that nigga or without you, that's not it. That's how you got to be. You got to be cheaper to keep. You got to be better to have than being single. You got to be this nigga's peace and some more because he can be peaceful by himself. All right. Now, number five. Now, this one, um, I'm going to move that for the bonus because I have two bonuses on this one, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and make number five. Um, y'all need to, before, now this is for the people. So, basically, first, y'all need to come up with a calendar of goals, all right? This is for the people, this is for before the marriage and the house and the business and the kids stage, okay? Everybody's not going to jump into that after about a year or two. That's just what me and my dude doing. But if you want to take it slower and you don't want to jump into shit like that immediately and you're not, or, or if you're unsure about this person, I'm going to tell y'all this is what y'all could do, all right? Build a calendar, set up a calendar of goals with, with each other. Like, for instance, me and my dude, we have this whole year planned out. Like we got about five trips already planned. We got like three family events. I'm talking about every other month, like January. Um, what did we do this this month? Um, we had went to Mexico earlier this month. February, Valentine's Day plans. March. Ain't got nothing for March, but then April, we got to go uh, to see his family for an event for his grandmother and my family, a little, some of my family are going to join that as well. Um, July is my birthday. We like, basically what I'm saying is we got plan, we got trips and plans and goals already set in place. So that when y'all get to arguing and y'all be like, oh, well, fuck this that's going to come into y'all's mind. Y'all going to be like, oh shit. Well, wait a minute now. We got this plan. We already got that plan. I already paid for this ticket, this plane ticket and your plane ticket. It's going to make it complicated for y'all to break up or y'all didn't introduce each other to uh, y'all to introduce family to each other. Y'all done already got y'all's family involved in y'all's in y'all's life. So now y'all got to explain to family and all that shit. Every, people after a certain age, people don't want to keep starting over from scratch and shit. Like, this is all, I'm trying to tell y'all, this is facts. Like, this is how you're going to stay with somebody. This is how, this is what makes a person 
say, you know what? Let me check myself. Let me not be so fucking controlling. Let me chill because if I don't, I'm going to lose this big thing. You have to become this factor. Because the reason why a lot of niggas is treating y'all like whatever is because really, it really don't make no difference if you in their life or not. All right? Because if you think about it, you introduce a nigga to your family and all this other shit now, you got to explain to motherfuckers and shit why y'all ain't together no more and they may not agree with you or, or you know, hey, like, it's just going to become complicated. Plus, if y'all got those goals set, well, now you have a life with someone planned out. It ain't like you just just going with the flow and shit. That's why I say going with the flow is literally the the opposite of anything productive in a relationship because you're not doing anything. You have no goal set. There's no difference if they're in your life or not. It's easy to break up with somebody like that. All right. So now a bonus one for the bonus. I say, let me see. What was my second one? That was to get in cahoots with each other's family because you're an investment at that point. Um, you're not just a boyfriend. Now it's, they'll be embarrassed. They have to deal with dealing with bringing another dude in after that. And it's going to take a few months and it's going to just set back life. You know what I'm saying? You become, you need to be a asset and an investment, not just a trophy or a something to a title of boyfriend. Like you need to be in this dude's life. You need to matter you need to be taking things off of his hands that if if he's not with you, he has to go back and do all that shit by himself. And that's going to drain him and depress him. That's how you're going to stay with someone, y'all. I know a lot of us make it, it's like difficult for us to accept this because it's like a lot of people didn't been hurt in situations where they needed somebody. But I'm just keeping it real with y'all. You got to find somebody that's going to treat you well, who's going to make you happy and vice versa. And then you need to lock that down. And this is how you lock that down. Otherwise, you are risking a like very high chance of y'all splitting up. All right. Also, this one, a lot of people may not agree with, but in this one, I don't care. Hey. Y'all must live together or travel together, build memories. When you build a bunch of memories, I'm going to tell y'all now, me and my dude been together for about six months now. We got about, we didn't already told each other straight up that we have more memories with each other than we were, than we had with people that we was with for over a year that we ended up breaking up with shortly after that year. We didn't, we already have been out of the country three times. We got all these pictures together around the house. That's all a process. If we break up, all that shit got to come down. He got to actually take that shit down. And they're all over the house. You know what I'm saying? This is what is going to help solidify y'all. And yes, I say live together because let's just keep it a G. If you don't fucking live with somebody, you don't know them. I wouldn't recommend going up and doing any of the things on the first, on number one, until y'all live together. I don't give a fuck what nobody says about you hauling, moving into each other immediately, and all that's not good. Um, I say that that's different strokes for different folks. Some people can. There has been stories where people have met and never separated, y'all. It's happened. Okay? You can create and build a friendship with your partner as y'all are growing together. It doesn't have to just be a friendship first and otherwise it won't work. All those are myths. They can go in and out. They can be true for some people and they cannot be for others. But what I've seen at 30 years old now, ain't nobody, I don't see no gay relationships lasting that do not do any of these things. Everybody that I know that's been together for five plus years, they live together they either married or on the verge of it or they got a kid 
or they lit or like a lease, a mortgage, like these things are ties. Yes, they can be they can be untied, but what I'm saying is we already can't have biological kids together, y'all. If y'all really want to have a long-lasting real relationship, you got to be together cuz you need to be together. Ain't no way around it. So everybody who wants to say or wants to keep themselves in positions to where they don't need nobody, well, there's another reason why you're single. And I just learned this shit. I did not think that this was, I didn't even think it is. Because I'm thinking we gay, we can't go off of straight norms. Man, this is the only one that I got to be real with y'all. If we don't get on this shit, we will not last. All right. That's all I get for this one for right now. And uh, Kelzo say so. And I will see y'all on the next one. Holla at your boy. Comment. Hit my comments up. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs>